Hello there. Do you like 3D stuff? I certainly do. And if you do, you might have come across Blender and you might have come across the Default Cube. And in fact, there's a, a chap we've got, who's got a channel called Default Cube. And he did this wonderful tutorial on how to make the spinning N logo from Nintendo. But I did think his modeling could have been better. I know he would claim he's not a modeler, but I just thought that I could come up with an easier way. And I think I have. So let's give that a go. So here we are in Blender. This is the default cube and we're going to edit mode and I'm going to put in some loop cuts with control R, scroll up, left click, right click. And then that just puts in these nice double loop cuts and then just do single ones here. And what we need to do next is to delete a whole bunch of faces. So I'm just going to select them holding down the shift key. I don't think there's much quicker way. There might be a quicker way of doing a sort of a loop select and then adding to it, but I don't think it makes much difference. That's the ones we need. X, F, so kill those faces. And then what we want to do is we want to join this edge here to an edge that doesn't yet exist that would be here. Not a problem. What we need to do is to put this temporary face in. If we just do fill that, control R, loop cut, same thing, scroll up, click, right click. That then gives us that edge that we need. And the, the reason we're doing it that way is because we know it's sort of geometrically exactly where it needs to be. And so we just need to do the same thing on this side. So select those two edges, fill, control R, scroll up left click right click to leave it nice and neatly in the center and now we've got that edge that we can join with that and to fill and we we've got the geometry now from doing that for that side to work on the other side so let's put that diagonal in and do the same here and there are, we're kind of sort of breaking rules by having sort of faces joining on that is not something that you would ever be allowed to do but we're going to delete that face in the end anyways so let's delete the faces we don't need right now so that's the one we'd keep that's the one that's inside as it were the end so you can see we've got quite a lot of the geometry there already the next thing I'm going to do is select everything and do merge by distance. Because of the way we did that, do you see how it says down here, removed three vertices? You may not be able to see that on your screen, but it left vertices that were kind of, uh, you know, stray as it were. And so that, that should have tidied things up nicely. Um, and we can just do the same thing uh, in the other direction. So for this set of diagonals, and I'll probably just speed this up and, you know, because it's exactly a, a repeat. Okay, so we've now got those diagonals and we're just going to do the same thing we did before, which is uh, to select all the faces that we don't need and we should have a fairly tidy situation so let's select uh, and just select again select those fill in those diagonals on the outside. There we go. And I'm going to do that A and then merge by distance again. Removed seven vertices. So, yeah, it's worth doing that. And then, all being well, we should be able to just, oh, not that one. 
uh, just do the F thing um, because when you're at the, the sort of in the, the bottom of a U as it were of edges like that um, you can hit F and it will just fill it in and it's it's obviously happy to do that but if I do it F again it sort of tries to yeah it's to putting it a face where it can't really because uh, it doesn't know that I want it to go down to there to join that up um, so let's just do the ones it is happy with first and then I think let's try that yeah that's it's happy with that it can work it out it knows what I mean and I think we're done he said okay let's have a quick look at it yeah, it looks all right get out of edit mode and there is your nice n we could just check we go into the edit mode a merge by distance and it removed naught verses it's not a guarantee that everything's perfect but i think that's pretty tidy so i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you agree that it's a bit easier maybe you don't do let me know in the comments and do, if you haven't checked out Default Cube's channel, make sure you do. Uh, it's brilliant. And he's got an awful lot more subscribers than I have. So if you felt like subscribing, that would be really cool.